So in this video tutorial, I am just going to demonstrate how you can use the clone tool to actually select parts of the image uh, so that you can replicate them. Now, this is often used with celebrities to get uh, different shades of their skin <coughs> so that they can blur them out. But if I just show you here, our tools are on the left here, and here is our clone tool on the left. So we have a clone tool on the left. You may want to go over here and pick your brush and choose a size that's useful for you. Um, you can even soften the edge if you don't want it to be so harsh when you're drawing. So I've softened the edge and then I'm going to click off that. Now, what you've got to do first is once you've picked the clone tool, you need to press the ALT, the Alt key on your keyboard and select an area that you are going to clone. So I'm going to clone this area here. And you can see that it you get that little red cursor around it, that circle. Now, what you do is you let go of the Alt key and move your mouse across and then click down and start drawing. And what you'll notice is it's cloning that light. And if you go slowly and go carefully, because I've softened the edge, it's not so harsh. So that now means I've got an extra light there, which I didn't originally imagine. So I'm going to go to Alt now, and I'm going to select this one here, and I'm going to start drawing another light. So I'm drawing that onto the building. I probably could have done a better job of this one. All right, so I've drawn around that and I now have my light on the building. So I've got four lights there. Now, that's not bad going. You can even do it with plants. So I could select this plant pot here using Alt, and I'm gonna start drawing another plant in place. So let's get that plant in. Now, sometimes, as you can see with this, the brush size may not be enough. So what you would do in that situation is change the brush size to make it bigger so that you're not spending so much time trying to draw the image in. So the good thing about the clone tool here is that it allows you to copy things into the image that weren't originally there. So you can add some extra effects to it. So you can see it's not perfect, but you can see how it works. And there's a lot of images there that were not a part of the photo originally. So you're going to have an activity to try and make some use of the clone tool, but you'll also be using the feather tool this lesson, uh, which I'll show you in another video. So have a go at the clone tool. Remember to change your brush size over here and there is your clone tools there, okay? Good luck.